Hello, what a beautiful day. I was supposed to have a, an appointment with the transplant team and they canceled 10 minutes before I walked out the door. But at least they caught me before I walked out the door. So we're taking advantage of this gorgeous Might as well day. Enjoy it. Yep. And we're at the um, the towpath in New Jersey. Just take a look. Beautiful. It's a great place to ride a bike. In fact, that's the only place I ride is here because it's level. <laughs> this is all bamboo. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. Whoa, this stuff is really tall. Friends. Look at them all. All of a sudden, we have to take her down there to get a drink. I don't know. Go ahead, try. Is there a better spot? No, just... You can't get any closer than that. These, these are going to attack her. No, they're not. So can any she'll, run, she'll leave. Dave, you want me to do it? He's a scary, he's a scary okay, cat. On, Here, Look I will. Look, give it to me. I'll film you. He's afraid. <laughs> afraid? I don't, th I don't think it's a good idea. He's attacked by goose. She ain't going, oh. Yes, she is. Get a drink. Get a drink, Maddie. She's not, she's too interested in the things. Yeah, get a drink. Get a drink. She don't want to. Get a drink. There you go. Good girl. Okay, go ahead on, get a drink. Do you want a drink? I'm not thirsty yet. I want to get something good. She's drinking. See, uh, my great grandfather, he lived up on Cottage Hill. It was a 22 room stone mansion. And uh, it's a nursing home, the old age home there. He died in 1950. He had 13 kids, one of them was my grandfather. He had 10, one of them was my father. And growing up, they were all here in Andrews. They never left. Now they're all deceased. My generation is 49, I'm saying the fifth oldest, the four oldest passed away. Mm. Me and my cousin Steve were the only two left. He had a gas station there, and he died in the 50s, and my grandmother sold it to Mr. Allen, and he had a gas station in the oil company there, and uh, uh, he died, and his son sold it to Charlie, and Charlie turned it into a funeral. Wow. And after school, we'd go uptown on Dahl Van Street, and an old English guy had a little deli there, and we'd go in and go to get a soda, and get in the dime, and put the dime down, take the soda. You grab the soda out of your hand, take the dime, and throw it out in the street. Why? Say, well, he'd say, you little guineas, get back where you belong. You don't belong here. So I said to him, excuse me, he's dead now. But I found out, he, I said, excuse me, I'm not Italian. He says, oh, I know who everybody is. So I've been here all my life. You're worse than them. You're a goddamn half-breed. And I wonder, you know, what he, and people told me later, he thought because my uh, grandmother's family uh, come from Louisiana, he thought, and they were French. But he thought anybody come from Louisiana was black. 